Hello, honey, honeys. Who's back? Who is this? Who is this girl? I don't know. What happened to her? Where did she go? What did she do? What? Who? What? Where? Where? Why? Why? My voice is gone. If y'all couldn't tell. Um, I want to flip y'all around because I want to show you something that I'm doing. Look at this, y'all. Look at what your girl be doing. Look at this. Oh, fabulous setup. We we got a chair. We got my chair, which is the white chair, and my client's chair, which is the black. And I, well, these are butterflies to put on my new pink curtains. I got it all, girls. I got stuff over there, stuff over there. There's stuff in the drawers. I have everything, honey, to do your nails and my nails. Look at these. You see these nails? Close-up action. Focus. My camera is like, what happened to you? See this? Your girl did these nails herself, okay? Left hand and right hand. And, you know, they're longer than normal. I bought the extra long tips so your girl can look extra because, you know, she don't do nothing regular, okay? Nothing is regular in my life. That's all I got to say. Okay. 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 So we gonna flip you back around. Let's flip you back around. That's all I had to say. We gonna we're gonna um get along with get going with the video. But get going with the video. I don't wanna got make no makeup on, but it's all good because I don't even sound cute today. My voice, my voice is gone. So let's get started with the video. Okay, you guys, my ladies, I have something to confess. This is a confession video. I can't. It's a confessional. I got something to say. Get down. Get your popcorn. Get ready. Because I have something really serious to talk about. And I want to share it with you guys. I really do. And my confession, my, my confession is that I just been buying too much jewelry, y'all. I got a problem. Oh, look at this. Thumbnail. Too much jewelry. Too much honey honey. Too much jewelry. So I, over the course, you know, I ain't going to show it to you all at once, you know. It's got to be over the course of a couple of videos. And one of them is a new Pandora bracelet. Oh, I'm excited. Like, I look at it, I'm like, oh, honey, honey, honey. No, you can't see it. It is a whole new, not like fully stocked because I don't like fully putting charms on my bracelets but I have a lot of charms on this new Pandora bracelet I don't know what I'll do first I'm probably going to do some of the jewelry first because I do want to return some of it because I do not like it but I also did purchase the um, Pandora Rockettes um, charm with the you know with this because last year I did not purchase the red one but this year I did purchase the white one which I am super excited why did I say soups excites? Oh my god. I am been watching Disney Channel too much. Um, and soups excites. I am sick, so please excuse that. Because I do I've been having a cold, so therefore I've been coughing. But we're gonna go through all of my Evine and JTV purchases for now. I literally like have so much jewelry because I have not filmed a video in so long that I don't know what I've shown y'all, what I haven't, but I guarantee you, it's almost all of this. And Evine bag. Evine bag. Which there are things that I am going to return because I'm like, ew. No. No. Two back you go. So I am going to get up close. I'm not going to show it this far away, you know what I mean? So I'm going to pull my camera right here up close on this ridiculous looking table. Okay, so I will get, we're, we're going to go, and we will be back with the jewelry right here, right here, right here. Okay, you guys, so today, as you see, I have a close-up on, you know, my nails. What do you guys think? Are they too long? Because people are like, oh my god, they're too long, and then a lot of people like them. I love my nails. Comment down below if you think they're too long or if you think they're absolutely gorgeous. You know, you know. Okay, so obviously I have my camera on close right here because today I thought I'd show you basically almost all my new rings I have purchased. 
And what sucks is I have lost a lot of the paperwork to these rings. And some of them, one I want to return. Um, and I'm going to see if I... I loved it at first. And then when I thought about it and I looked at it more, I'm like, I don't know. So this is the one that I was thinking about returning. You guys, I would love your feedback on all of these rings. If you think they're ugly, if you think they're cute, if you think I should return them, I'm going to keep them. Because the holidays, they let you um, return and extend it to January 1st or something. I don't know. But this ring right here, I will model it on my hand. Now, I'm used to wearing a size 10 on my fingers. And I have lost quite a bit of weight. So all my rings now are, you know, they, they do run pretty loose on my fingers. So that is a problemo. But as you can see, this ring right here, this is a, hold on, let me, whoop, this is a, <clears throat> sorry, black Tahitian pearl, very, very, very big. I wish I could tell you the millimeter because I, I would love to tell you the millimeters, but I do not have the paperwork for, I'm trying to get it, sorry, the paperwork for it, but I, I just, I thought when I bought it that the design, as you can see, the design is really pretty. It reminds me of like a flower and on the outsides, it's probably kind of hard to tell. On the outside, it does have the white zircons on the outside, all sterling silver. Of course, this was not cheap. I believe this was around $134 to be exact. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm really good at remembering, um prices but I have it on the stretch pay but I did like it because this pearl is huge it's very pretty um I don't see anything any like thing wrong with it there's no weird looking bumps in it or straight just nastiness in it and that's what it looks like from far away that's what it looks like on so you're like typing at your little desk and you're like oh honey yes don't you just love my new ring yes it is why yes it is a tahitian yes so that's this one i was thinking about returning it because the more i looked at it i'm just like i don't know if i like it but you guys let me know what do you think of this pearl tahitian pearl might i add it is not a large black cultured pearl this is a tahitian pearl if, and as you well know they are expensive but it's very big so that's what this one looks like so we're going to take this off. I know my tattoos like throw a lot of things off. Now this one, obviously I'm keeping these. That one that I just showed you was a JTV piece. And I will try to go back and get the links to all of them for you in the um, description below. This one, honey. Look at this beauty. This one right here. I hope, it fo I hope this is focusing. This one is just a large, gorgeous, blue topaz ring. I love the sides. Look at the sides. It's nice and smooth against the finger. It feels really, really nice. This is why I love this ring. Because I don't like rings that are bumpy. Because lately, rings that are bumpy just bug the shit out of me, right? For some reason. So I don't wear them as, as often. It is a pear shape. But look at the, how gorgeous it is. Like, yes, look at that. From a far away, you can definitely see that. It is a statement piece. It does set, mm, I don't think it sets up quite high. It sets up high, but I mean, for the size of the stone, your setting is going to be slightly high. Well, high, you know, because it is a big stone. But it is gorgeous. I love it. And it sparkles like no other. It is definitely, if you love blue, if you love big pieces, this is definitely for you as it is definitely for me. And it feels really smooth. And I just like love the little, um, the little, what's it called? These little squiggly designs on the side. I thought that made it really pretty. And this was very, very affordable, y'all. I'm telling you, I think I paid like $60 for this. Yes. And people pay $60 for costume when you can buy the real deal, honey. So that was also JTV. I will definitely try to get the um, link 
for that for you because that is definitely a keeper for me and i really think it should be a, i really think that a lot of y'all are gonna like this okay now I, I bought this one as well in the same time frame because i love my citrines this one is a large round beautiful it's almost a, like madeira citrine very pretty especially if you love your yellows and then on the side it is has the um gold plated and then there's citrines in there as well i don't know about like i thought it was weird that they did that they did the like gold plated over the citrines but i guess why not i don't i i don't mind it doesn't bother me but yeah this one's a gorgeous piece too this one does set up I'm trying to see high as well like I said they all are going to set up high but this one is definitely another keeper for me I'm like yes I wear the blue one on one hand and then I do wear the citrine on the other hand as you can see from far away like look at that you can still see that from far away and then you can still see that from far away so these are my two faves out of pretty much the bunch of rings that I am going to show you. But yeah, they're both gorgeous. The citrine is to die for, especially if you love your yellows. I forget which month October. No, it's not October. I forget which month is citrine for y'all. Hey, what's your birthstone? I forget which month that is. My next ring. See, now this is what I did. With this ring, I be wet. <laughs> With this ring, I I purchased it a very long time ago, right? I did. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to return it. And then I know a couple of you have ordered it. And then I still saw it. It was still up on the site. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to order it because I really, really loved it when I had it. And I'm just, and I thought, I'm like, Sarah, why did you even return it? And that was this beautiful looking and it's not real this is from the jtv's um what's it called their um goodness gracious me oh my the bella luce design but it's pink it's beautiful and it is there and the shine and the way it's cut and the sparkle it is gorgeous you are gonna be like noticed in this ring people are gonna be like oh my god let me see your ring it's so pretty like one of those rings <laughs> Because it's just so beautiful. You know when you get under certain lights or you go somewhere that has that really pretty lighting and like things just sparkle like everything sparkles. This is going to sparkle, honey. Honey, honey. This is going to sparkle like no other. Let's see. Wee. But yeah, that's this one. This one's super pretty. I don't want it to focus on my... My, uh... As you can see, really pretty, really sparkly, gorgeous. I hope it focused. But that, and then that's what it looks like far away. Really pretty, just gorgeous. I love it. I really do. So, all those ones, except for... I can't find the paperwork for this one, but I'm going to try. Should I keep this one or not? I do not know. Y'all let me know. So, this one's gorgeous definitely a very pretty piece but it sparkles like i don't know if you can tell because i don't know how i don't know about this lighting y'all because i'm experimenting with the lighting but it's definitely sparkling right now and i've worn this a couple times so this is not super clean but it is gorgeous this is definitely if you like sparkly sparkly stuff and you like pink this is definitely a keeper and i definitely recommend this one <clears throat> And the citrine and the blue one. Because the pink one is not real. It's, you know. Now this one, this is an Evine piece. And this is from an Italian designer called Tagliamonte. And I don't know if, I'm sure some of you probably know who I'm talking about. Some of you are like, I've never heard of Tagliamonte in my life, girl. But I bought this one because, first of all, I just don't. I am not only a jewelry buyer just to buy jewelry because I like it. I also like to collect it because I am a jewelry collector and I collect unique 
pieces or pieces that I know that aren't going to come back ever again and all that jazz. So, as I say, my grandma says jazz and now I picked it up. This is a Tagliamonte and I do not know if we're going to be able to see this. It is sterling silver around 18 karat right here. I'll show it to you in, in just a second. Now, this right here, I believe he had said was glass. And then behind it, it which is a doublet. When I, when I say a doublet, that means it's a glass or a stone piece and then it's doubled up behind another piece. And a lot of, this, a lot of designers will do that to cut on costs and all that. But the reason why he did that, that's not why this designer did that. Um, if you understood anything I just said. So I believe he said this was glass. And this glass, though, it is Rome, Romanian? I don't know. I do not have the paperwork yet again. Sarah did not keep the paperwork. This is hand carved with a angel. And what was it? What is that? I don't know what he said. There's an angel. There's a bird. There's like the harp. It's very, it's just, it's carved. It's hand carved, which is, it's very faint. Even to the, like, naked eye, it's very, very hard to see. But it's backed behind pearl. And in some lights, it, it like has a glow to it. So I'm going to put this on my middle finger just to show you guys again actually you know what I'm gonna take it off and see if you all can see it I'm gonna close up on it really close up you, do you you can probably see it faintly right you see that it's carved slightly carved that is what I'm trying to talk about hold on let me see something okay there we go. There you go. I'm sh I can see it in this viewfinder. Y'all can probably see it. It's carved. Hand carved right there. And then it's backed by pearl, which makes it glow. And then, this is the design on the side. It has the 18 karat right there, and I'm shaking. And then it has the fleur de lis on each side of the ring. It is kind of an intricate ring so you see the floor de lis right there right close up and then another 18 karat little dot right there and then you know it just doubles down and then comes down right there now this ring was not I think I got this ring on I think I want to say I got it on sale I don't know that's what it looks like from far away I don't know if you can see the um, glow in the ring. It kind of at first looks like a chalcedony, but it's not. But it's really pretty. Um, it is a little thick on the sides. Actually, I think I think this is a size nine, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what size this is. If it no, it's got to be. A, it has to be a ten, because I don't know. The thicker the band is right here on your finger, the tighter the ring is gonna fit. So this one fits my middle finger. My only issue with this ring is because of these silver little pieces right here from the Fleur de Lis, it gets caught in my hair. And that is what I don't like about it, but I never returned the piece and I have no plans on returning it just because I really like the uniqueness of this ring. He does not make a lot of these, so they only make a certain amount and then that's it. So this is definitely a collector's piece for me, and I'm definitely keeping it as, um, as you can tell. You can't see the carving from this far away. You can't. You literally have to look up super close to see the carving on this ring. So that is that. And those are the five rings um, that I purchased. So that is just a smidge of all the jewelry that I have to show you right now, for now. I don't want to show it to you all at once, you know. I mean, y'all got to wait, okay? Patience is key. There is a lot of jewelry to show, and I will show them to you in due time. They're, they're coming. It's coming along. It's coming along, okay? So I hope you enjoy. Oops, excuse me. I have the hiccups. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have, wait, what's this paper? I have some paperwork. 
Nope, that's, ooh, girl, I'm going to tell you, I bought something pretty. You are, ooh, when I opened it, you know, when you open a box of jewelry, and it's just like, oh, my God. Like, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me. my tripod, you know. But y'all know, when you order a piece of jewelry and you open that box, you either go, eh, or you go, honey, honey, oh, my God. That is beautiful. I do have um, a piece that I did order off of JTV. When I, I saw it on the television, and I, I'm like, oh, that is mine, honey. Mine, 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 mine. I'm like, doop, 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 doop. order, please. Yes, sir. Can I have this? Or, you know, because they have my fucking information. They got all that shit, you know what I mean? Because I order on the daily. They got it all. Um, yeah, so that are that is the rings there are many many videos to come on other pieces that i have but i did order a beautiful i'm telling y'all beautiful the most prettiest chrome diopside necklace i have ever seen my in my life um off of jtv the most sparkly is one as well sparkliest is that a word i do not know and then i also have oh i got the most gorgeous fucking piece of I, sorry my mouth i got the most gorgeous piece of jewelry for Christmas y'all let's talk we are mm. I'll show that to you in another video but dr your mouth is gonna drop ladies get your get get your popcorn ready and you go like this oh my god you know what I mean um, beautiful beautiful piece of jewelry probably the most nicest piece and probably the most expensive piece of jewelry that I own as of today so um, those are the rings. Let me know what you think about them. I want to know your feedback. I love your feedback on the rings. So let me know what pieces you liked, the pieces you didn't like. Because I love to see what y'all like. I mean, that's what I... I purchased these things because I like them. Minus, I don't know about that pearl ring. Let me know. Um, but I purchased these pieces because they are what I think are pretty. So... Um, everyone has their own taste and all that jazz, as my grandma would say. All that jazz. So, I will see you later. Until the next time, y'all, I am happy that I am putting up a video for you. I am happy that I am actually in the mood to do a video. Um, regardless of me looking really pale and I could at least put some bronzer on, you know, but it's okay. Um, but... I am trying to make my comeback, you know. So, I will see you ladies next time. Until then, you stay sparkling, darling. You stay sparkling. Stay gorgeous. Stay unique. Be you. Don't let anybody change you. And don't let anybody change your the way you are. Don't let anybody try to change your appearance. Don't let anybody try to tell you, oh, I don't want you like this or like this. Or like with my nails. I don't want you with those long nails. Cut your nails and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, no, honey. Honey, honey. I don't think so. The, I, my identity, your identity is you. The way you dress, the way you act, the way you look, that is your identity. That is what you want to do, right? That's that's you. Don't let anybody try to change that. And if they do, the door's there, Felicia. Bye, honey. Bye. That's, that's my mentality. I'm sorry. You're not about to come change me for who I am as a person but it's, that's just me that's, that's my my thinking unless it's changed for the better okay unless it is changed for the better because I know I need to change and I know I need to change for the better in a lot of aspects in life and how I do act and how I do do things and I appreciate people trying to help me change for the better I really do it's just really hard it's really hard when you're stuck in your ways um, but you know, sometimes you got to change for the better to make yourself a better person. I just don't, I'm just trying to tell you, don't let, um, why am I ranting? Why am I ranting? This is, this isn't a rant video. This is a jewelry video. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to get at. So, till then, darlings, I will try to get up another video next week because, um, who's ready for a Pandora video? Okay, okay, okay. Pandora charms, a new bracelet, charms, all that goodies, you know. I'm ready to show y'all because I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't even, I have to switch my new bracelet up 
because I haven't even worn this new bracelet yet. And it's like, what? You haven't worn your new Pandora bracelet? I'm like, no, because I need to clean my dirty bracelets. So my new bracelet can be like, yeah, you looking good. Um, I know Pandora did have an after Christmas sale. It was like 50% off, no, like 30 if you buy one, 40 or whatnot, 50% off if you buy like four or five. I don't know. But I know when I went to my Pandora store, they were like wiped out. They were they were cleaned out. There was a lot of stuff that wasn't there. But I still wound up getting a whole bracelet with a good amount of charms on it. A lot of money. <laughs> you know, I saw that. I'm like, hoo I remember why I haven't bought Pandora in a good minute. But anyways, bye.